In this video tutorial, we will take a look at the Enhanced Eco Audit Tool. Please note that this video builds on a previous tutorial, which looks at the Eco Audit Tool. This enhanced version of the Eco Audit Tool allows for more detailed analysis by using extended eco property data, more materials processing and end of life considerations, and an estimation of product cost. The Enhanced Eco Audit Tool is only available with the Level 3 Eco Design and the Level 3 Sustainability Databases. Let's open the Advanced Level 3 Sustainability Database. The Enhanced Eco Audit Tool is in the main toolbar here. Note the addition of the plus sign to the Eco Audit Tool. To demonstrate the additional features available in the Enhanced Eco Audit, we are going to perform an Eco Audit project of a space heater. We will first open a previously created Eco Audit file by clicking Open and selecting the file. Having the project open and looking at the Product Information section, we now have the option to include cost analysis below the name here. Enabling this option, we can select the country of manufacture. In this example, we have selected Korea. Below, you can indicate the package dimensions of the product. We can specify the height, width and depth. Notice that the units are in metres. The Enhanced Eco Audit has the same five sections as a standard Eco Audit. Within the Material Manufacture and End of Life section, we have the following columns. Quantity, Component Name, Material, Recycled Content, Mass and Primary Process. In the Enhanced Eco Audit tool, notice we can input a secondary process which is dependent on the choice of material. The following column lets you input the percentage of material removed during the secondary process. Finally, you can also specify the end of life and the percentage of material recovered for the end of life option selected. If you want to know more about any of the sections, just click on the question mark icon after each section's title. The table Joining and Finishing is also part of the additional information in the Enhanced Eco Audit. These properties are important to the overall quality of the product. They can also significantly affect the environmental impact. The units depend on the process selected. Transport details are available below. In this section we can select the route by which our product reaches its point of sale. Several stages can be entered in the same way as the standard Eco Audit tool. We have left this blank in our example. The next section is Use. In this example, we can see that our product life is about three years, the country of use is set to world, and the energy rate is domestic. In the static mode below, we consider the operation of the heater. We're using fossil fuel to thermal heat vented with a power rating of 9.3 kilowatts. We will estimate that it is used 10 days a year and two hours a day. The heater is designed to be portable, so we have to consider its mobile mode. Let's say that it is stored and transported in a diesel light goods vehicle where the vehicle runs 300 days a year and travels 85 kilometers a day. Finally, in the report stage, we have entered a picture of the space heater, which you can see here. To obtain the results of the project, we need to go to the report section. Clicking on summary chart opens a chart that shows the impact of the product over its different life phases. We can choose whether to view energy, CO2 or cost. This summary chart is very useful when comparing product designs. Clicking detailed report here automatically loads the report in a separate tab and generates the results. In this first page, we can see a bar chart summarizing the relative contribution of the different life phases. In the graph, the use phase dominates the energy, CO2 footprint and cost of the space heater. The final column of the chart shows the end of life potential, if all of the materials were used as effectively as possible. Below that is a summary table. The next three pages give a detailed analysis for each impact, energy, CO2 and cost. The report will update automatically with any changes to the product definition. The report can be visualised in print layout ready to print or be exported into different formats by clicking the export button. In following video tutorials, we can learn about the other tools and databases that are available in CES EduPack, such as the Level 3 Eco Design Database and the Synthesizer tool.